And welcome back to The Factor. When your insurance fails to cover medical or dental procedures, there are options. One is being a medical credit card that many don't realize they're using until it's simply too late. Let's get to it with our financial expert, Ed Gardner. And joining us now here on The Factor Uncensored, we have our financial expert, Ed Gardner. Ed, good to see you. Uh, one of the issues that's making news now, when people go to doctors or to uh, a dental office and they need a procedure that their insurance won't cover, there are these uh, programs that you can sign up for. And many people think it's a loan to get dental work or to get a medical procedure. But many are finding out in the end, it's actually a credit card and you're finding yourself in uh, a lot of debt. Tell us about that and the problems that many people are facing as a result of this medical financing. We take, for example, someone going to a dentist and they say that we have a to do your work. It's going to be 20,000, 10,000, whatever the figure. And of course, most people can't afford to uh, do that. So what happens is they either offer a personal finance program or they talk about a credit card. But what you have to understand, Isaiah, is it is a credit card. And they have a period of time where if you pay within that period of time, let's just say 12 months, 18 months, or it could be shorter, that you pay no interest. And if you pay the balance by then, you won't be charged interest. But a couple things to consider here is number one, when they go to apply for the card, they make it look real simple. You know, answer a few questions. We'll tell you in a couple minutes if you apply. But when you apply for that, they're checking your credit, and immediately your credit's going to probably go down 10 or more points mm -hmm. uh, when you do that. Secondly, when you do get it, you're not reading the fine point. Because a lot of times, if you don't pay the balance within that free, uh, that deferred interest period, the interest still accrues, Isaiah you're still going to owe it. And then if you don't pay at least the minimum payments, what's going to happen, it's going to impact your credit. And also at the same time, there might be extra fees that they charge. And of course, they don't tell you that. They have it in the fine print. And when you sign, a lot of people sign stuff and they don't read it. Another thing that impacts that is your overall credit. You know, part of your credit is based on the amount of credit available and the amount you use. So right. let's say you had a $10,000 credit card, so you have available $10,000. And if you only charge $1,000 against it, then you only use 10%. But if they say the dental procedure is $10,000 and you do the full amount with the $10,000, that up the percentage of credit that you used, and that's going to lower your credit score. Mm -hmm. And that may have a domino effect on a lot of people. They may go to apply to rent somewhere, and their credit is lower. So they might not be able to rent that particular place. They might go to buy a car, and because their credit is lower, their interest charge may be higher. So it, it's a big impact. There are a lot of times, Isaiah, when people can't afford the monthly payments. And so what happens then is they may be delinquent on their payments, and it affects their credit. They might also be charged additional fees for not paying the monthly payment. And, of course, if you don't pay it, the full balance within the period of time, then that deferred interest will get charged to you. And so Got there are it. a lot of... And Ed, this is not like a bait and switch by the company. It's just that you have to read the fine print, knowing that you're getting a credit card instead of a loan to pay for this dental procedure or this medical procedure, right? That's correct. It's so important that people, when they apply for this, to see if they can have printed out the fine print and they read it before they approve that credit card and they go through the procedure. Because again, you want that better smile. You, maybe there's a, a vision issue, a hearing issue, some other medical procedure that you want to have done. But really, can you afford that payment? That's a question. Ed Gardner, we appreciate your expertise here on The Factor Uncensored. And it's always good to see you, sir. And remember to always read that fine print. As they say, the devil is in the details. All right. Thank you, sir, for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored tonight. Of course, always good to see you.